All right, we'll meet you at Black Springs. What about the money? You'll get your share at Black Springs. You'll meet us there. You heard what I said. Get going. Ah. Come on, Will. Looks like we fooled him. Well, for this time. All right, Will. Let's go this way. There's a posse chasing us. Come on, we can't waste time. And he might die. If that posse catches us, we will die. Get on your horse. Get on that horse! Much obliged. Luke McCain. 
What's wrong with him? My brother broke his leg, going after your son. Mark? Well, let's get him inside. Easy, boy. That's the boy. I'll go for Doc Sedgley right away. We don't want a doctor. That's right. Let's get him inside. be able to do much riding for a while. I was just thinking the same thing myself. I was wondering if uh, he couldn't stay here till he was better. Will wouldn't have no broken leg and we wouldn't be asking no favors. Except he saved your boy's life. All right. We'll fix you up a place here. No, thanks. I'll sleep out in the barn. I like it better that way. Suit yourself. Come on, Mark. We've got some chores to do. I'm glad you're staying with us, Will. Come on, son. What's he so mad about, Paul? Well, I don't think he knows, son. But he can't be as mean as he makes out. Why not? Well, if he was, he wouldn't have stopped to help you. I'll leave the money here with you. Well, when will I see you again? Well, it'll take about a month for your leg to get better. We'll be by then. Keep out of sight. Don't worry about the sod buster. He's an honest man. <laughs> take care. Hey, Paul. Kane? My name is Bennett. I'm the U.S. Marshal from Martinsville. Oh, <laughs> you're a long ways from home, Marshal. Yeah. Well, our bank was robbed a week ago. We followed the men who did it up into this area, but we lost them some ways. There were four of them. Three men and a young boy about 19 or so. The three men have been seen down around Black Springs. The boy wasn't with them. I got an idea he might be holed up around here someplace. You wouldn't have seen him, would you? No, Marshal, I can't say I have. Well, if you do, just let me know, huh? Sure will. I told him you were here. Then I'd have had to kill both of you. You couldn't have done that if it hadn't have been for my leg. Oh, yes, I could, son. And if you don't think so, try me when you get better. so afraid of every little noise all the time? There's worse things. You didn't come for breakfast. No, I was sleeping. You get this from me? Yeah. Why? Thought it would make it a little easier for you?
By the way, there's still some eggs and coffee left. Chestnut than this, you let me know. It must feel great to ride a horse like that. It's the greatest feeling in the world. I'm a good rider. Pa says I'm as good as most men. How yeah, about that? I rode all kinds of horses. I was never on one like that. Wanna ride my horse? Well, would you let me? Yeah. Well, Gee, thanks, Will. Thanks a million. Well, thank me. I'm only letting you ride him because he needs exercise. It's going to be a surprise party. Andy's mother's taking him downtown shopping. And when they get back, we'll all be there. Well, sounds like fun. It will be. You have a present to take? No, but I'm getting one tomorrow. Sure is good apple pie. Best ever ate. Glad you liked it, Will. You have a particular present in mind, Randy, son? Well, there's this kite in Taylor's story he's always talking about. Might get him back. Well, I guess I, guess I better be going to bed. I'll see you at breakfast. Want to play some checkers, Paul? Uh, not tonight, son. I have to work in the books. Hey, uh, I'm a pretty good checker player. You are? Yeah. Well, then why don't you play with Mark? All right. All right, I will. Before you start, let's clean that table up, both of you. How's it feel without the splint? Feels all right. Good. Boy, back-breaking work. Anything to do with farming, it's back-breaking. I don't know, we used to own one. Work from sun up to sundown, barely scratch a living. In the end, they steal it away from you anyway. Is that what happened to you? Someone stole your place? Yeah. It wasn't my place, it belonged to my folks. Who stole it? That's a man named Carlson. He was real big in those parts. He offered to buy it from them for nothing. When they didn't sell, he run them off the place. Killed my folks. Oh, that's too bad. Same thing will happen to you. You make yourself old fixing this place up, and then somebody will come along and steal it away from you. What makes you so sure? It's the way it always happens. Who says so? My brother Hank. Hank says he's seen it happen time and time again. Hank says a man that works for a living is a fool. You know, Hank told me that Look, a guy... I'm too busy to stand here listening to you spout off your brother's nonsense. My brother knows what he's talking about. Look, the facts speak for themselves. Look around. There's a lot of first-class ranches in view. They all started small like mine years ago, and they all still belong to the same families. How does that fit in with your brother's thinking? Well, that's what happened to us. They stole our place. Well, okay, they stole your place. That's tough. But it doesn't mean the whole world's bad. Only a fool or a child would reason that way. I'll go down and check the fence on the north pasture. It don't work too hard. Mr. McKay. 
Kane. Oh, uh, oh, you, you just missed him. He, he just went out to the, to the fences. I rode over to ask him to dinner on Sunday. Oh. You work here? Yeah. I never saw you before. Well, I'm a new hand. My name's Will. Mine's Ann. Ann Baird. My folks own the next place. How about that? <laughs> well, I guess I better get back to work. Will you give Mr. McCain my message about coming to dinner on Sunday? Sure will. It was nice meeting you. It was, it was nice meeting you. Well, bye. Bye. Hey, uh, you, you ride down this way very often? Mm, once in a while. Ch chances are I'll probably, probably be seeing you again then. I just wouldn't be surprised. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> Much longer before your gang comes to pick you up. I guess not. I guess you're pretty anxious for them to get here. Yeah, why? Well, I mean, it must be pretty dull around here for you. I mean, compared to riding all over with a bunch of outlaws. I read a book about one of them gangs. Sure sounded like an awful lot of fun. Yeah, fun. Well, it seemed like a lot of things to me in the last couple of years, but it never seemed like fun. What's fun about being chased all the time? Ever staying in one place long enough to know anybody? Ever knowing where your next meal's coming from? Never having anybody trust you or being able to trust anybody else? Like right now, we're sitting here playing checkers. And all the time, I have to keep my eye on that door. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. Finished. What are you going to do with her then? Well, I think I'll give it to you. Give it to me? Well, sure. What do you think I made it for in the first place? Well, it, it's sure a beauty. You got some chores to do? Yeah. Well, now you get about them. I'll call you when it's ready. All right, Will. Lucas? No. I came to see you. Then what about? I'd like to invite you to dinner on Sunday. No, I can't. Well, then, Sunday after that. I'm sorry, I can't. I see. You don't want to come any time. Oh, look, that's not it. I, uh, I can't think of anything I'd rather do. Well, why won't you, then? I, I have some people I have to meet. I see. Well, then, there's not much use of my riding over here anymore, is there? I will. Anna. Bye. Finished? Yeah, I'm all finished. Here, take it. Well, come on, pick it up! Mark! Mark! Mark, look, wait. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I don't know what got into me. Please forgive me, I'll finish the boat for you. Get inside, Mark. Go on, son. You know what's wrong with you? You want to quit that bunch, but you're afraid to admit it to yourself. You know why? Because you've had a taste of regular life and you like it. You met a girl you might be in love with. And you've probably even got a notion about settling down. That stuff is for fools, not for me. 
Well, even if I wanted to settle down, and I'm not saying that I do, what could I do about it? That's easy, son. When they come for you, just tell them you're through. That's easy. Well, you don't know my brother. Hey, Paul, look. Here they come. You sure? Yeah, I recognize my brother's horse. You going with him, Will? I don't know. Get inside, Mark. Why, Paul? Go on, do what your father says. Pretty good. That's good news. We're heading for Dallas. Get your horse. Look, Hank, I got something I want to tell you. Tell me later. We haven't got time. Get your horse. No. What do you mean? No. I mean, I'm not going with you. Not this time, not ever. I'm, I'm quitting. I want to go straight. What are you talking about? Get your horse. Get your horse! Won't work, Hank. Not this time. He's been talking to you. The sod buster here? Nobody's been telling me anything. I just woke up to the fact that I don't want to live your kind of life anymore. Let him quit. Just more money for us. Okay, sucker. You can quit. Give me the money, Will. Will, that money belongs to the Martinsville Bank. Shut up, sod buster. Give me the money, Will. Give me the money, Will. get started, Will. I told the marshal you'd be there by noon. Aren't you going with me? No. Thanks a lot, Luke. Goodbye, Mark. Bye, Will. Wait for me. I'll be back. 